Bonjour tout le monde. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm speaking from Queen's Park on the Treaty 3 lands, or 13 lands, of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. And I'd like to thank the many Indigenous water protectors who have taught me, who have walked with me, who have protested with me at Queen's Park to protect water. Because water is life, and we must protect it for present and future generations. This week, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released another chilling report. The message is clear. It is now or never on climate action. It's now or never to protect our water. The moraines that provide us with water to drink, the lakes that support natural ecosystems and biodiversity, the rivers and wetlands that protect us from climate-fueled extreme flooding events. Water belongs in our rivers, lakes, and moraines, not in our basements. But just last week, Doug Ford released a disappointing, wholly insufficient Greenbelt proposal that made it clear the premier sprawl agenda comes before the protection of our environment, our water, and the places we love. All while he doubles down on his destructive Highway 413 in Bradford Bypass Holland Marsh Highway, which would both slice through the Greenbelt, pave over farmland and wetlands, pollute lakes such as Lake Simcoe, and pave over the protections that are so vital to cleaning our drinking water and protecting us from flooding. That's why today I'm proud to announce that the Ontario Greens are calling for a doubling of the Green Belt to include our Blue Belt proposal. As you can see from the map, the Blue Belt would protect critically important watersheds, basins, and river systems. The Blue Belt is not a nice to have, it is a need to have. It would protect key moraines, rivers, lakes, and wetlands, including the Paris Galt Moraine, Duffins Creek, Crothers Creek, would protect watersheds all the way up uh, to Lake Simcoe and through to Georgian Bay. It would also include the headwaters of the Grand River and the Grand River watershed through Haldeman County. We need to urgently protect water before the situation becomes more costly. We need to urgently protect our lives and livelihoods from flooding. The Ontario Greens are putting forward real solutions to protect nature and water and to ensure a livable future for current and future generations. Our kids deserve to have lakes to swim in, clean water to drink, and clean air to breathe. But to make that happen, it's going to take leadership and policies that put people and planet first. That's exactly what the Ontario Greens are doing. We need more than the half measures being put forward by the other parties um, offering up plans that don't meet the urgency of the climate crisis we're experiencing and the need to respond. At a time when we're facing a code red, we need a real plan for real climate action. So I call on the Premier today to adopt our Blue Belt proposal and to get serious about protecting Ontario's water and acting on the climate emergency. I'm available to take questions. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, if you do have any questions, please press star one. There are no questions at this time. Thank you.